Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you five different ways to calculate a cumulative or running total in Excel. Whether you're a beginner or someone looking to explore Excel's new functions, this video is for you. I'll walk you through each method step by step, explaining everything in simple terms so you can follow along easily. Let's get started. Let's begin with the most basic and traditional method of calculating a running total. First, in the cell where I want the running total to start, I'll type the value from the first cell in my data range. Now for the next row, I'll create a formula to add the previous cumulative total to the current value. Once I have this formula, I'll drag it down the column to apply it to the rest of the rows. This method is simple and works well for small data sets, but it can be time-consuming if you're working with a lot of data. Next, let's use the scan function, which is one of Excel's new dynamic array functions. To use the scan function, I'll start by typing an equal sign, then the word scan. The first argument of the scan function is the initial value. I'll type zero here because I want the running total to start at zero. This initial value is important because it sets the starting point for the calculation. Next, I'll type a comma and select the range of cells I want to calculate the running total for. After another comma, I'll use the lambda function for the calculation. The lambda function allows me to define a custom formula for how the running total should be calculated. Inside the lambda function, I'll type two variables, x, which represents the cumulative total so far, and y, which represents the current value in the range. Now I'll define the formula for the running total. I'll type x plus y, which means I'm adding the cumulative total so far, x, to the current value. This is the logic behind a running total. Each new total is the sum of the previous total and the current value. Finally, I'll close the lambda function and the scan function with a closing bracket. When I press enter, Excel calculates the running total for the entire range automatically. Now let's move on to the vstack function, which is another new function in Excel. The vstack function is used to stack values vertically, and we can combine it with the scan function to calculate a running total. The first argument of the vstack function is the value I want to appear at the top of the stack. I'll type the first value in my data range, which is b5. This ensures that the first value is included in the running total. Next, I'll type a comma and use the scan function to calculate the rest of the running total, followed by a comma, and then select the range of cells from B6 to B19. This range excludes the first value because it's already included in the vstack function. For the scan function's formula, I'll use the lambda function again. Inside the lambda function, I'll type x and y as the variables, just like before. Then I'll type x plus y to add the cumulative total so far, x, to the current value, y. Finally, I'll close the lambda function and the scan function with a closing bracket. When I press enter, Excel stacks the first value on top of the running total calculated by the scan function. This method is useful when you want to include the first value separately in your results. Next, let's use the let function, which allows us to define variables and make our formulas easier to read and manage. To start, I'll type an equal sign, then the word let. The first argument of the let function is the name of the first variable. I'll name it x and assign it the range of cells from b5 to b19. This makes it easier to refer to the range later in the formula. Next, I'll type a comma and define the second variable. I'll name it sum and assign it the lambda function. Inside the lambda function, I'll type z and y as the variables. Z represents the cumulative total so far, and Y represents the current value in the range. Then I'll type Z plus Y to add the cumulative total to the current value. After defining the variables, I'll type a comma and use the scan function to calculate the running total, then an initial value of zero, followed by a comma, and then the variable X, which represents the range of cells. For the formula argument, I'll use the variable sum, which contains the lambda function. Finally, I'll close the scan function and the let function with a closing bracket. When I press enter, Excel calculates the running total using the variables I defined. 
This method is great for more complex calculations because it makes the formula easier to understand and reuse. Now, let's look at the map function, which is another powerful new function in Excel. The map function applies a formula to each value in a range and returns the results as an array. The first argument of the map function is the range of cells I want to process. Next, I'll type a comma and use the lambda function to define the formula. Inside the lambda function, I'll type x as the variable, which represents the current value in the range. Then I'll type sum, followed by an opening bracket, and select the range from b5 to x. This tells Excel to calculate the sum of all values from the first cell in the range, b5, to the current value, x. Finally, let's use the by row function, which is another new addition to Excel. The by row function processes each row in a range individually and applies a formula to it. The first argument of the by row function is the range of cells I want to process. Next, I'll type a comma and use the lambda function to define the formula. Inside the lambda function, I'll type x as the variable which represents the current row. Then I'll type sum, followed by an opening bracket, and select the range from b5 to x. This tells Excel to calculate the sum of all values from the first cell in the range, b5, to the current row, x. Finally, I'll close the sum function, the lambda function, and the by row function with closing brackets. When I press enter, Excel calculates the running total for each row. This method is simple and works well for row-based calculations. And that's it. We've covered five different ways to calculate a cumulative or running total in Excel. The traditional method, scan, vstack, let, map, and by row functions. Each method has its own advantages, and you can choose the one that works best for your needs. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, Comment and subscribe for more Excel tips and tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.